Huh? You don't want what? You don't want the guy lazy? You don't want him sitting on the couch? Watching TV? Eating cheese? <laughs> cheese with? Cheese and crackers, but you go to the grocery store for him? And you can't, okay, what else? Trustworthy, is that more on the loyalty? Anything else? Come on, you guys, I've been doing this for a long time. He has to be romantic, okay. What does that mean? I have a theory. I have a theory. I think that women like what? I think women prefer romance than they actually do love. They would rather have romance than actual love. They don't know this, but that's what they rather have. <laughs> you guys know that? <laughs> the guy can love you. He can both have a love you, but if he's not romantic, you kind of go, huh. What else do you look for? He could love you. He love you. He could be a love you, but if he's not romantic, what's the problem? That's a problem. Okay, what else? Is that it? Is that all you guys care about? He has to have goals. Doesn't play the Nintendo. See, see, uh, Eddie. You know, every class is different. A different list. This class has that. I think it's the camera. They don't want to talk about the real stuff. They're not going to say, "Let me see the money. Let me see the what." He has to be what? Handsome. What's the other thing? Let's have some money. Have to be handsome. That's usually at the top of the list. All right, let's ask you guys this question here. These are all the traits of a guy that you want, right? Are you sure? Is there any other traits? Doesn't have to be all? Taller than you. Okay. okay, well, sometimes some classes say he has to be tall, whatever that is. All right, let me ask you this question for loyalty. How many guys are loyal? One in what is loyal? <laughs> One in one, meaning certain. One in what? <laughs> this, <laughs> come on, just be a little realistic. What do you think? One in what? Five. One in five are loyal. Okay. How many women are loyal? Five. One in <laughs> ten. <laughs> honest. How many? How many guys are honest? You know, this is a weird one. You you can't ever be honest. You know, how do I look? You look wonderful. You look even better than last week. Right, Eddie? Hey, Eddie, tell her the story about what you told your wife. You don't want to tell that story? <laughs> One in what is, Eddie's honest. That's a problem. One in what? One in, okay, one in ten. Patient. How many guys are patient? Huh? One in what? Twenty. Okay. How many guys are intelligent? Uh, one in a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Only one guy out of a hundred is intelligent. <laughs> How many guys are funny? One in what? How many guys are funny? What do you think? One in what? One in five? How many guys are athletic? One in what? Huh? One in 20? A hundred? How athletic does he have to be? <laughs> what are you looking for? How many guys are romantic? Oh, that's the big one. That's probably the biggest, that's the biggest complaint. Isn't that right? I think that's the biggest, biggest complaint. That and the money thing. Romantic. How many guys are romantic? One in what? Huh? One in 20? <laughs> At least send you a card, right? Let's send you a card. Money. How many guys have enough money for you? One in what? Claudia? What do you think? <laughs> no, Claudia, it's not about money for Claudia. But for the rest of you guys, money. One in what? You have a job, right? One in. Shouldn't, shouldn't you tell me? The sooner you guys get to leave. One in twenty. One in twenty can afford you. Okay. 
Now, how many guys are handsome? 150 are handsome. Oh, my God. Ooh. All right, what do you guys want to do with all these traits, all these probabilities? You can multiply them, okay? 1 in 5 times, 1 in 10 times, 1 in 20 times, 1 in 100, 1 in 5. It's a matter of your dreams. 1 in 100, 1 in 20, 1 in 20, 1 in 50. The numerator is 1. The denominator, multiply all those numbers together in the denominator. And tell me what you get. 5 times 10 times 20 times 100 times 5 times 100 times 20 times 20 times 50. I get 1. I get 1 followed by 12 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ooh, what number is that? Do we know what number that is? Million? What is this? Million? Billion? One in one trillion. One in one trillion. I don't think there's been one trillion men who've ever been born on this planet. Okay? But it's one in one trillion, I think. You guys, you guys with me on this? Compare that to the likelihood of winning this what? This lottery. You are more likely to win this lottery, you're more likely to be struck by lightning twice than it is to even find Mr. Right because it's one in what? One trillion. You guys want to know the worst part of this? You guys want to know the, the real worst part? Eddie, get it close on me. <laughs> you know what the worst part is? Just because you find him doesn't mean he's going to want to be with who? You. It's the worst part. I hate to burst your bubble. <laughs> Eddie, I hate to burst your bubble, but when I talk about probability and statistics being uh, the most important math class you'll ever take, it is. It starts to put things in what? Perspective. So maybe, what was that trait you said you forgot? Has to be confident? What do you mean? How much confidence can he be showing if he's busy crying? <laughs> you see what I mean? You guys are witnesses. How confident can a guy be if he's busy what? Crying. I, I rest my case. I, I know what I'm talking about. All right, let's look at our, was it time to go? You guys got getting all your stuff like you're,